you know, water is so integral to our daily lives, and especially to New Jersey, that you know, the minute you impact someone's use of water, you find out what's important in people's lives. And unfortunately, you know, I discovered that uh, watering lawns is probably the number one religion in New Jersey above any other religion. People really uh, are really dedicated to keeping their lawns nice and green with a lot of water. And unfortunately, when you start talking about water restrictions, you know, the extraneous use of water like lawn watering and washing your cars and stuff, um, that, that, gets, that gets restricted and people immediately begin to realize the, the, the dramatic situation is going to happen. If we get a substantial amount of rainfall in New Jersey, why are we still on the brink of drought? Well, unfortunately, you know, in New Jersey, we have so much pavement and roads that a lot of that rainfall probably just won runs washed off. off the street, runs off the streets, runs into our water bodies, and doesn't make it into the groundwater, doesn't make it into our reservoirs. Are we currently in a state of drought or right? Well, I don't think we're in a state of drought, but we're in a warning in a lot of parts of the state, particularly the northern part of the state, and particularly on areas that rely on groundwater. There's been a renewed push to update the water si supply mm -hmm. master plan, which I mentioned hasn't been updated right. in almost 20 years. Yeah. What's the holdup here? I, I don't know what the holdup is, and, and, and it's a shame because it's very important. Because even when the water supply master plan comes out, it's just the beginning of the process. It's where we start the dialogue of, we haven't built a major water supply reservoir or new water supply system in this state in decades. How are our water ducks? Um, our, our infrastructure, unfortunately, is so old in this state. We still have some cities with pipelines made out of wood. You hear of water lines breaking all the time. We have water, we have water lines that have lead solder and things. We have some systems, our water quality is very good. A lot of systems probably leak more water than they're actually delivering to our residents. So there's a lot of wasted money, a lot of a wasted resource. Our infrastructure for water in this system is both old and complicated. There seems to be some resistance to improving infrastructure. Well, unfortunately, there is a resistance because our economy is not where it should be. But you know, improving infrastructure will actually improve the economy. You know, we can put people to work rebuilding our infrastructure. Not only that, the amount of wasted resources in treating water that actually never makes it anywhere, so you don't get billed for it, that's a vast waste of a resource. And then our economy, you know, water is important for us, for our public health, for our environment, for our economy. Like, I drove here, coming up here, I drove past the Anheuser-Busch plant. You know, it's located in Newark, for, not by happenstance. Newark has a very good water supply, very good quality water, which is important to a company like Anheuser-Busch. They're right in the center of our transportation hub. They, re they rely on employees with a good education. All those things we have to maintain to keep businesses here and to attract more business. So we, you know, investing in water infrastructure and transportation infrastructure, that just returns more money in the long run than it costs. And particularly now, the cost of money is so cheap. Now is when we should be doing it. And the longer it takes for the water supply master plan to come out, the longer it takes to start that dialogue of how are we going to move forward as a state. Dennis Hart, thanks for being with us. You're welcome.